one pound of pomegranate. And the chief was Maserati. And he, he allowed her to go to the colonists and she taught them how to plant corn, which they had never heard of. Corn is something that was new to the colonists. They had never had it in England. Corn? Corn. Maize, they called it. Corn. 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 Like corn in the cotton. Um, and it was vital because they, they made their grain out of corn, as the Indians did in America. She also taught them how to catch eel. So in 1621, the colonists, which had planted vegetables and root vegetables, they stored everything up and were getting ready for winter. And it was a tough, awful winter. And the Indians came and brought corn and brought food, and they shared a feast. And that, in our mind, we think of how beautiful that was. And it is. It's a beautiful idea because what they did was they shared their food and they had this big feast. And that's, that's what we think of when we think of Thanksgiving. Now it's so different. Now Thanksgiving begins the holiday season, begins Christmas, begins New Year, begins almost too much, too much, too much. The day after Thanksgiving in America is called, it's hard, Black Friday. Friday. <laughs> you know what that is? Friday. It's not Friday. Black Friday is the day after Thanksgiving where you go to the stores. The stores have sales. And it's kind of disgusting. You buy a lot of presents. You buy goods. You get ready for Christmas. Now Christmas is a is is the birthday of Jesus Christ, who was a great prophet, who some feel was the son of God. So this very holy day, Christmas, Christ's birth, is now just a crazy buying frenzy. And Black Friday is the day after Thanksgiving, and that's kind of stinky. So, but I think Thanksgiving is an important day. So what I would like you to do is write, think about, and write what you are thankful for in your life. It does not have to be long. It could be, I'm thankful for my parents. I'm thankful for a very good friend. It could be, I'm thankful something bad happened to me because I learned a lesson. It could be, I'm thankful for a poem I read, or an article. I, I could write, I'm thankful I saw Obama and he waved to me through the window. Yeah. It could be that small. But write something that you're thankful for, and then we'll read it on Friday. Because tomorrow we won't have any class at all. But Friday we will. Did you see Obama in, in Bangkok? I did. You missed the other class. I did. We went to Wat Po. Oh. And we waited for three hours. Oh, yeah. We saw the window. He went like that through the window. We were so happy. We don't ask him much. Um, we're going to we're going to read. I don't know if you brought your copies. And if we, if we don't have enough copies, we'll share. Um, now, some of you who were in my class last year, we also read My Fair Lady. But Brother John felt that it's important to read it this year, because this year he's got a copy of the film, which we'll watch together. And the film has... Um, Thai captions, so it has subtitles in Thai, so that should be even better. So, but what we're going to do this year 
Because last year when we read it, did you bring your copy? No. Mm -hmm. It's okay. No, you could you could share. Um, yes. You don't have one. I know that. Um, I'm going to give these out, and you're going to you're going to return them to me. Okay? We're going to share because I don't have enough for everybody. But um, and we're not going to read the songs. Last year, do you remember? We read all the songs, and that took up a long time. We're going to just read. Um, you share, okay? Yes. And then Um, basically, this is this is a play that was written by George Bernard Shaw. He wrote it in guess what, 19, 1912, the same time that the Titanic went down. He wrote this. Um, it is a it is a story about a flower girl, a girl who sells flowers in front of the opera house in Covent Garden. And Professor Henry Higgins makes a bet, he makes a wager, that he can teach a flower girl who doesn't speak English well at all. In England, she, she's cockney, and she doesn't pronounce her H's, you know how we, we have problems with TH and CH? She has no H. She says E's. She never says E's. E's are. Uh, uh. It's, almost, it's almost as though she's, when you listen to the Cockney, it's amusing because it is so flat and it's so, it's almost musical. It's so atone. And he bets that he can make her into a fine lady and introduce her into polite society as a lady. As a lady. It would be as though a girl from the country, from northeast Thailand, came to Bangkok and someone took her under the wings. Someone guided her, taught her proper Thai and introduced her to the royal family as a, a, a long-lost cousin, somebody that, 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 that was equal to them. So it's a very, very large idea of trying to make a country person better, not even better. A, 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 a small country girl into a grand dame, a grand lady. So this is this is what we're going to start reading. And when we're finished reading this, then we're going to have, we'll watch the film. They made a movie out of it. First, they made a musical. It was called Pygmalion when Shaw wrote it. And then they made a musical. And they called it My Fair Lady because she is. She turns from a, a, a young girl to a, quite a lady. So, if you don't mind, I would like to start reading this. Um, and we can start. With, can you can you start for it? Chapter one: A terrible accent. It was a cold. Do you not want to read? Yes, All right. Chapter 1, a terrible accent. It was a cold March night in the, in the center of London. It was raining heavily. 11, 11 o'clock. The theaters were just ending and crowds of theater Go, go. Theater goers. P 
people who go to the theaters. Theater goers. Theater goers in their fine evening clothes will were coming out on to the wet streets in Covent Garden. Cuff, let's stop there. Covent Garden is a theater in, in Midtown. Covent. C O B E N T. Covent Garden. It's a theater, and it was designed by Inigo Jones in the 18th century, and it's very formal, and people in London at, in 1912 would get dressed up in tuxedos. The ladies would wear long, beautiful dresses with white gloves up to here, and they'd go to see the theater. Covered garden. Anytime you don't understand a word, we'll stop and put it on the board to try to get it.